Booger. I'm the assistant principal at Johnson Street Global Studies in High Point. I had the opportunity of having a lot of experiences as a teacher that helped me reflect on my own instruction. And the more I did that and the more I was able to grow as a teacher and to see my own effectiveness, I really began to care more about helping teachers become more effective. So I um, did a lot of peer mentoring and mentoring of new teachers. And that just kind of broadened my lens and made me look at um, school from a, an educate, a, a larger perspective, a broader perspective. And um, that's what led me to have the desire to go into administration and really help teachers um, grow and to help our students think more critically and just giving them those sound foundational practices that, um, that they might need. One of the main focuses was leading change in schools and being a transformational leader. Um, Change can be hard in any capacity, um, but especially when you're trying to lead a school that may be high needs or needs um, a really strong vision or a strong leadership. Um, and I think it just helped us to clarify our own vision and what it would take to imp what it takes to implement that in a high needs school. So leading change with students, leading change with teachers, how to implement um, new ideas. I think that was really um, a real a big takeaway that I had. I think any administrators, one of their top priorities is to be in classrooms. And um, sometimes that's easier said than done. I had a professor that said, every classroom every day. Well, in a school of kindergarten through eighth grade, sometimes that doesn't happen. Um, so one of my goals is just to be in classrooms more, um, just informally. Um, you know, we have formal observations that we do, but just to informally be in those classrooms more and just um, engaging with the students. thing is just really and the most important thing has been building relationships with some with our kids um, that's the meat of what we do the heart of what we do um, ultimately I think relationships motivate kids to succeed um, when a child knows you care not just your teacher but when your principal or your assistant principal is checking on you and encouraging you and and celebrating your success and affirming you so um, affirming our kids and building that rapport with our eighth graders who are getting ready to go to high school and with our kindergartners who come in crying the first day of school and by the end of the end of the year they're ready for first grade. That has been probably the most rewarding and the most enjoyable is just seeing the growth in our kids and just seeing the impact that a personal relationship has in their lives. culture and the, the kind of the climate of the school is finding those teachers who are a right fit, not just on paper, but um, that would work well with, with our staff. Um, so building a sustainable culture and a positive culture is definitely important. And I think everything from hiring to discipline impacts that. Um, teachers want to know that, hey, if I have a kid that's disrupting our learning environment, that that's not going to be tolerated and um, and it's not and so we're 100 percent committed to supporting our teachers and helping create a positive culture we're a, a family oriented staff we um, celebrate together we grieve together and we've had to do both this year um, um, and it's just great to see the way our staff comes together to support um, one another throughout the different things that we face in life